Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Flipgrid when your students don't have email addresses. Let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to sign into my educator account. You can see here, I'm going to use my Google account for this demo. And let's go ahead and create a new group. And it's going to be a private group this time. Let's call it Mr. Burns Awesome Demo Class. And we'll use the join code there. And now we're going to select student username. Now let's hit next. And I'm going to add my students manually. So let's put in max and choose a username for them and say Max the dog. And we'll use one here for Mason. And let's do one more. And so I've now added in my students. Now let's go to the next screen. I'm not going to import any topics from prior groups in this case. And now we have our group code right there. I can copy that and I can distribute it in all the ways that I might distribute a link. But let's go to a group. Let's add my new topic. And we'll just say you know, summer learning. Share something fun that you learned this summer. I'll give my students up to a minute and a half to record. Just like any other Flipgrid topic, I can adjust that amount. I can use video moderation and typically with a class, I will moderate videos, but for the demo today, I'm not going to moderate the videos. And you can add additional media to your prompt if you would like, including recording your own video. Let's go ahead and now create that topic. And again, we have a link directly to the topic that we can share in Google Classroom, Teams, or many other places. Or I can just have students go directly to the group itself. So next, we're going to take a look at how the student now joins in. So the student will go to the link that you provided to them. And now they can sign in using just that username that you've chosen for them. So in this case, we'll say Mason the dog. And now Mason the dog can go ahead and record something fun that he learned this summer. So he can record his response. And of course, have to give permission for the camera. And in this case, Mason the dog will be this little puppet here that I have. And he can record something fun that I learned this summer is that dad jokes are the best kind of jokes. And you can see here, we can use these effects. So we put this frame around it. We can even go in and put in some emojis. Let's use a fun emoji. And we can put that right here or over here. Hit that next button. Something fun that I learned this summer is that depth. And then take the selfie. And once again, I'm going to use this puppet. And I'll use the effects of the emoji. And I'll put that in there as well in our selfie. And now Mason can submit this. And when he's done, he has a link directly to his video. He can also download his video and hit the complete button. Now, as the teacher, as the teacher here, I'm going to refresh my screen and I'll see Mason's submission. So that's how your students can use Flipgrid even if they don't have email addresses. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please search through my YouTube channel or subscribe right now.